going to talk to you about bacteria, which are very small organisms that grow almost everywhere, including on us and in us. If we don't control them, they will cause much damage. Virtually all the things that can go wrong in the mouth are caused by bacteria. The opening picture shows how a healthy mouth appears before harmful bacteria get to work. We see the teeth are intact and healthy, the appearance is attractive, and the owner can feel confident to smile. Bacteria cause tooth decay, which is just becoming visible on the biting surface of the molar tooth. This is caused by particular bacteria finding a home in the fissures or grooves on the biting surface of the tooth. Here we see decay forming on the smooth surfaces of teeth just above the gum line. These are often seen where people eat sweets such as polos. This shows tooth destruction. Not much of one tooth is left after extreme tooth decay has occurred. This person is in need of cosmetic work to restore their smile and awareness of how to prevent further attacks. This shows a healthy mouth. Bacteria cause gum disease, but there is no sign of this person suffering from it. We can see that the gum is pink, tightly attached to the teeth, with a nice arch of gum coming to a sharp point between each tooth. This shows the effects of gum disease. When harmful bacteria take hold, they cause the gum to strip away from the tooth, pockets to form, eventually causing bone to be lost around the teeth and loosening, which may result in the need to wear dentures to maintain some form of dignity. Bacteria can destroy the most expensive cosmetic work and cause breakdown of implants. The way we deal with them may affect how long and how well we live. Soon after birth, bacteria pass from mother to child. Mainly they are protective, but a mother harbouring disease-producing bacteria passes them also. Those which cause tooth decay and gum disease buy their time before causing damage. If we are careful, we may delay their effects, perhaps for our lifetime.